Libya's unity government is starting to get the support it desperately needs. On Wednesday, its prime minister arrived here in Tripoli by boat, leading to hopes in the capital that the political deadlock could finally be broken. This event is one the Libyan people have been waiting for impatiently, to correct the wrong that was made and to solve the Libyan people's sufferings. The man tasked with living up to those expectations has an uphill battle ahead of him. On Thursday, 10 cities in the west of the country also threw their support behind the UN-backed administration. But he'd barely set foot on Libyan soil before hardliners running the capital told him to either leave or surrender. Since 2014, Libya has been effectively ruled by two rival administrations, both of which oppose the new government. The first, based in Tripoli, ran by powerful militias. The second in the eastern city of Tobruk, which is internationally recognized. Chaos has ravaged Libya for five years, turning it into a breeding ground for Islamic State group jihadists along parts of the coast, making its stability a top priority for Western leaders. We fully acknowledge the Libyan government because it is that government, the Saraj government, and his leadership that will garner international support and will bring about stability. World leaders are pinning their hopes on his unity government to bring together a nation split by years of conflict.